Hey, good evening, David. <clears throat> good evening, teacher. How's it going? I'm fine, teacher. What about you? Not so good. What happened? Ah, uh, well, my kid, I have three kids, okay? The youngest one is 11 now. Hold on. Yeah, he's 11. The thing is that on his English class, uh, the teacher, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong, but there are <clears throat> there are two kinds of teachers. No matter the subject, no matter what you're teaching, but I believe that um, you gotta love what you do, right? Yes. If you don't love what you do, then you are doing nothing. I mean, you you're not gonna do things with passion, with love, and doing things with passion and love involves making sure that the learner the learner learns. Yes. You are, you're making sure that they are actually getting the message. So this this guy uh, is new. He just graduated from the university like one or two years ago and has gone through no experience. I mean, he doesn't have much experience teaching. He graduated from the from the career, perfect, to teach English, but he didn't have the experience on going into uh, an academy you know, to teach uh, for some period of time. He worked at a call center for a few months. Then he quit, which just is understandable, right? It's okay. The point is that he's, he's going by the book. He's just going by the book, the textbooks of the government. Don't get me wrong again, because you're a teacher, but that's, that's okay. I mean, you can get the topics out of the book and find a dynamic way to play with the kids for them to understand, you know, be more creative. That's my point. Because the tests, the exams that you're doing on the platform are easier than the ones that he's running on the fifth. They're on fifth grade, you know, they're fifth graders. Yes. So it's too difficult. That's too difficult. They're, they're, they are studying the simple past. And okay. they, they started with uh, introducing yourself. Then they started wor working on comparatives and superlatives. And I mean, it, it, it is always grammar, you know, it's just grammar, but not in context. So kids get bored. The kids get bored. The 80 Eighty percent, let's say eighty percent of the class is lost. Okay. So yes. that's that's my point. I mean, that's my problem right now because I have tried. I, I, I even offer him to to give him a training, you know, by myself <laughs> to teach yes. him. To and the best way to train him would have been going to the classroom, taking over the class, and showing him some tricks. You know how how to do it. What approach is better for for these kids? Because he's always blaming the kids. He's like, "Oh no, these kids don't take advantage of what I'm doing for them." And oh my god! So, and the the result is that all the kids yesterday on the on the exam, the eighty percent of kids presented the the exam in blank. Oh. Now I ask you, David, would you accept a blank? sheet with the name no <laughs> all right i mean how can you evaluate the knowledge if they're leaving everything in blank you see that that's my point uh, so i always said something you know there is no uh lame teacher there's no lame class there's a lame teacher right my class at what i professor a while so it's like me if i don't push you through something if I let things go and I'm all the time, yeah, good job, good job. And then you get a six on your grades. How will you feel? Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, oh my God, am I doing right or what? Yeah, difficult. Yes. And again, there's no better way to understand if you're doing a good job as a teacher than testing, you know, uh, checking if your students understand 
for example, to today's topic, today's topic, we have to talk about business entrepreneurship versus social entrepreneurship. What? Right? Yeah, there's a difference. When you become an entrepreneurship, you need to decide if you're going for the basic needs or if you're going for social networks, which is the trend right now. Right? To give because in the end, if you become part of a business or you run a business, you need to decide if you're going to cover a, a basic need, food, for example, or if you're going to work with su superficial needs, you know, like uh, clothes, let's say, perfumes, whatever, right? That's not a basic need. So I'll try to make it fun for you. What I'm thinking is to have a discussion have the half of the class studying one set and then the other half studying the other set. And you you must support your part. You know what I mean? Yes. yes, Ho yes. Hopefully it works. Hopefully like a debate. It, a debate. That's right, a debate. So everybody can participate in and come up with ideas. In the end, my job is to make sure you speak and how you're talking, right? So. That's that's the idea. Okay, it's eight oh nine. How many are we? We are. Hold on, nine so far. What what happened with the mustache? You got bored of the mustache? <laughs> <laughs> that looks good. Hmm, that worked. Just having some trouble with the first two, maybe the apostrophes. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's right. Um, what are you, Gracia? Yeah, Grace. <laughs> Gracie, that is right. It might be the apostrophe. Uh, although, I'm sorry, guys. You know what? I'm going to start the class checking the first exercise. I would like to take this um, in a daily basis, let's say. Um, I would like to, to start getting used to, that's the word. I would like to start getting used to reviewing the first homework and then the second homework tomorrow and so on and so forth. Does that sound like a plan? Yeah. While, we, while we wait for the others, let, let's do that. Let me show the exercise. Okay, so let's see. Um, this is homework 1.1. And so help me. I, I want you to tell me how to do these exercises so we can all be on the same page. This is what we started yesterday. Remember, you have subject, wish, maybe a pronoun, and then a noun phrase, right? So what's up? What do we have to do? The very past, don't forget it. I wish we had a test today. I wish, oh, I wish we hadn't, uh -huh. but we're in the present, so, hmm. We didn't have. We didn't, okay, we didn't. We didn't have. Have a test. Today. Mm, okay. Okay. Now here's something that I need to tell you. The platform sometimes requires you to type the dot. Sometimes it doesn't. I just checked the answers already. So no, there's no dot. There's no period. I'm sorry. At the end of these sentences. Okay. So let's give it a give it a shot. Let's go with number two. William, help me. I wish the exercises not be so difficult. Okay, I wish this exercise weren't so difficult. Let's see. These exercises, these exercises weren't, okay, so difficult. For me, that sounds right. Number three, somebody else. Yeah, Juan? Wish we 
Mm. We weren't live near the mm. near the beach. No. Mm. Do you need the verb to be? No. We uh -huh. you need the auxiliary, not the not the verb to be, yeah. Um no. If the example gives you the clue, let's say if you need to use the negative form, you need to neglect, like in this example, then yes, you need the auxiliary. And this example as well. Here you may need a model, not an auxiliary. So think, think, oh, think. I wish we Mm -hmm. It's a positive sentence, an affirmation. We we'll live, no, we we'll live. Yeah, we'll yeah, live. don't doubt. We we'll live near, near the beach. Near the beach. Near to the beach, near the beach, whatever. Okay, number four. Grace, did you find it? Uh, do you ever wish uh, you could travel travel more? You could travel more. Okay. Do I need the uh, question mark? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and the last one. I wish I were better at maths. I, I wish, wish I, was. I was, or I were. I were. Let's see. Huh. At maths. Better, 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 not ever. Oh, what did I say? Hold on. I wish I were better. Mm -hmm. Excuse my dyslexia. <laughs> better at maths. I don't like that word. Little eyes in math for me is not. Because it's an uncountable noun, mm -hmm. I believe. Yeah, it sounds like an uncountable noun. Let's see. So, ooh, okay, what happened here? I wish we didn't have a test today. So what's going on? And if we try hadn't? <laughs> um, no, because haven't. Had not is there you will be using have as the auxiliary and then it will be it's a present perfect tense. Mm -hmm. That's right. I wish we had no test today. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Let's see. I'm guessing. No. Okay. Hmm. Any other idea? No, we don't need the verb to be here, right? And this, that, the first example is like the most appropriate. We didn't have. Maybe we need, we don't need to, we did not have. Did I forget the, uh, the article? Ah? Uh, maybe I forgot the article. Hold on. It doesn't make sense. Okay, let's add the period at the end. No. Maybe okay. the apostrophe teacher, because yep. this- it, my, the keyboard. Keyboard, mm -hmm. my keyboard is in English. The mm -hmm. computer, the whole computer is in English. So it, there shouldn't have to be a problem. Okay. That's what I'm typing. I wish we didn't we haven't did you? do you know what yeah it's we this thing let me see if that kind of apostrophe no it's not that one did not have maybe no 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 i already checked the answer and yes it, it, we have it right we didn't have a test today okay let me remove this apostrophe and use the other one sometimes it's necessary to copy and paste the words it's so crazy. What do you mean? Uh, we uh, copy and paste the, the sentence. The apostrophe? Maybe. That's the right apostrophe. Hold on. 
I wish we didn't have a test today. That's what I'm typing. I'm copying and pasting the answer from the... What? And you know what? Is the apostrophe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at that one. That's straight. That's a straight apostrophe. And the one they used is like a comma. It's like the tilde. So somebody worked on a Spanish keyboard on this one. Let's see. I wish these exercises weren't so difficult. I did try a Spanish keyboard as well. <laughs> I, I did try. And it doesn't work either. OK, but you know what? That That's the issue. It's just the apostrophe taking a different format. Oh no, look at yeah, yeah, that's that's right. This is properly spelled. Okay. Now I left the space between where and and so. Okay. There you go. Yeah, guys, it's just the problem with the keyboard used to create the exercises. So I'm gonna report that because eh, it's always an issue. Okay. So if you did it this way, don't feel ashamed. I'll, I'll, what I'm gonna do is just send you the whole answers. So you can copy and paste them, is that right? Mm -hmm. Especially number one and number two, right? Yes, the number two didn't accept. One and two were not accepted because of the apostrophe. I, I have right the uh, number one, uh, three, four, and five, but the second one given problem to me. I repeat, I'm having issues with the second one. The second one, yes. I'm having issues with the second one. I had issues. I have, with a, I have an issue with the second one. I have an issues or I have an issue, right? An issue because it's the uh, second one. And <laughs> it's near the bridge. Yes. Guys, always, always, you know what? Something that helped me when I was learning by myself is criticizing myself, asking myself, how do I sound if I say this this way? And it's the same in Spanish. If you're talking to yourself, which is something that I truly recommend you, always talk to yourself whenever you have the time of being alone. Okay? It's not being crazy. It's just you have to listen to yourself from time to time. The more you do it, the better. Okay. So let me do the attendance before we move on with the first part of the class, which is resolving an exercise on your notebook, on your workbook. Today is Tuesday the 20th. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Excellent. Um, chicos, recuerden encender su cámara, por favor. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Thank you. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Yeah. I thought I saw, oh yeah, Dora, welcome. Okay. Dora is here. Gracia Elizabeth Díaz Vázquez. Thank you. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Not here yet. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. You're driving, be careful. Jose yeah. Osmin Rivas Navas. Present teacher. Excellent, your camera. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Uh, just one thing, teacher. Yeah. I have a problem with the device that I'm connecting. Mm -hmm. So that is the reason that I'm not using the camera, but I will do my best to solve that problem. Because uh, right now I, I'm also in my work. Uh, you're, you're at work. Uh, yeah, I'm working now. Okay, be careful. I mean, just <laughs> try to solve that problem as soon as possible, okay? Because yeah, we yeah. need to uh, monitor that. Mm -hmm. And also, did you, in an hour, I will have one meeting with some uh, people from India, uh, because you know uh, the schedule time is. Yeah, I know. You know that's them. the way. That's the way I started. Don't worry. The first people I practiced my English with in a business environment was were people from India, in 2000, <laughs> 2005. That was difficult. 2004. Yeah, it's really difficult. 
I mean, it's not that you don't understand it. All the opposite, you understand everything. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but man, I mean, it was difficult because it was my first time and I was bringing a container worth um, worth $46,000. And my boss was like, if, if that container gets lost, you got to pay that money. <laughs> Yeah. It was a full, oh, no. a full container of tires. Never forget yeah. that. And he was very serious. Man. But anyways, okay. Good, good. I hear I, hear, I have a problem with my computer. Oh, but we got you now. Thank you. Yes. I can see you and I can hear you well. Thank you, Dora. I want you to speak tonight, okay? So we will work on that. Sorry. Wait. Juan Miguel Bran Mejia. Here, teacher. Hi, teacher. I'm here. Sorry. Hey, teacher. Thank you, Juan Miguel. Okay. Miss Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Present, teacher. Present. Thank you. Oh, my God. Hold on. I'm having issues with my camera. Oh, there it is. Okay. Luis Albert, Steve, we got it. Wendy, Patricia, Molina, Duarte, not here yet. And William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Thank you. Hold on. Can you hear that noise? Is it me or is it Luis? Let me see. One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay. So yes, it was Luis. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's something like, did you hear that guys? How do you call that? It's like a distortion. Okay. Interference? An interference, right? Ana Claudia is techie, I forgot. So you're going to help us with no, no, that. No, no, <laughs> no. Yeah, so you, you got to know. You got to know this where it's like, how do you say, <laughs> how do you say borroso? No, no. When Blurry. down is like that, I, I use the word distorting. Distorting. Distorted. 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 But you say when uh, for the screen? Mm -hmm. mm. Is hormigada? <laughs> It's pixelated. It's pi pixelated. <laughs> pixelated is better. Uh -huh. but pixelated is black holes, right? Mm. Or black squares. No, it's pixels. Mm. It's just like pixels. It's like, yeah, changes on the color. Now you have blurry, a blurry screen when is dim. It's, it's really dim. Foggy, foggy. The techie here is uh, Jose Wilfredo. He's the techie here. Really? I mean, yeah. I mean, I remember. <laughs> I mean, sales. <laughs> but you're supposed to know all that. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit, but he's the techie here. And also, uh, Jose Wilfredo and the, my other uh, co worker? Yeah. Uh, I, where is he? Jose Osmi. Uh, Osmi. Uh, they okay. are the two techie savvy okay. people here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but it's good vocabulary. Okay, guys, so <clears throat> let's continue with yesterday's lesson. And tonight we're going to um, do an exercise to start the class. Did you? Hey. Sorry, in the platform, in the 1.5, mm -hmm. the exercise asks for five characteristics of a social entrepreneur. But you can only select one. If you select the, the, the second one, the first one is delete. It's deleted. Uh, it's deleted. Deleted, like it's, okay. Like five characteristics of social entrepreneurship. We can choose more than one, and uh, it's asking for five. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll report it too. Okay. And again, I'll try to get used to get you used to get you used to the uh, first minutes of the class reviewing tomorrow will be 1.2 homework 1.3 the day after tomorrow will be homework 
1.7, 1.9, and so on. And for this week, we are supposed to be done with um, that section, you know, up to 1.9. Homeworks up to 1.9. Okay, so what, am I, what are we going to do right now? We're going to work in groups. We are 10, I think. We are 13. I suppose. Well, 10 because Jose Wilfredo is going to be on a meeting. So um, I'm going to show you what we're going to work on. This is on your page 11 on your workbook. We need to write six wishes about present situations you wish were different as we started yesterday. I wish I lived in Canada, right? And then we are going to share the sentences with our classmates. So what is the best way to do this? I will split you in groups, okay? So you can not create just the wishes about present situations. That's too simple, I think. What I will recommend you to do is to create a conversation among your students, among your classmates, I'm sorry. So go on your team, go to page 11. I will send you a screenshot right now of that to the WhatsApp group. So you can, um, you can present that to the whole class, okay? Hold on, just a minute. Questions about what we're gonna do? No, okay, and that's on page 11. So there you have on your WhatsApp group. Again, try to create um, a conversation. And this is very important, David, everybody. Show, practice, review, okay? Show, practice, review. So let's do the show first. Um, Grace, would you help me? Uh, yeah, sure. You know, Grace, lately I feel a little bit fat. I wish I was underweight. I were underweight. I wish I were underweight. Uh, well, I wish I could have time to go to the gym, just like you said before, uh, yesterday. Come again? I'm sorry, you were breaking out. I wish breaking I out. could go to the gym as well, like you said, uh, a few months uh, yesterday. Well, you didn't go. I wish you could go. Yeah, it's not easy to have the time, right, to go to the gym. I think everybody wishes being healthier. Yeah, I think everybody wishes they could afford that type of life uh, because sometimes it becomes a little bit expensive. Yeah, although living in this country with the heat, you really get underweight. That's the only positive thing. Well, I wish I could live somewhere else where the uh, weather. The weather, thank you. <laughs> A little bit chiller, chilly, chiller. Chillier, yeah. More relaxing, like Canada? Is it too cold? Switzerland, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I wish I could live in Germany. I wish I could live in Switzerland or maybe Japan. Oh, nah, Japanese. Would you be in love with the Japanese? <laughs> I wish I could meet. A, a girl from Switzerland. They're beautiful. Yeah. And I just wish I could meet uh, someone maybe from Thailand. Yeah, I wish I was not married. <laughs> she doesn't speak English, so we're fine. I'm just kidding. <laughs> She kind of understands some words. Hey, thank you, Grace. You see, guys, that's simple. I want you to practice with your classmate, find a topic. It doesn't necessarily have to be related to work yet, okay? So feel free to throw any topic, start a natural conversation. That's your point right now, be natural. Thank you very much, Grace. Okay, so we are like nine. I'm gonna do three teams just in case one of your classmates is not ready to collaborate. Let's see. I have David, Jose Wilfredo, Luis. Oh, and I have to make sure that David is not on 
two groups. So, Anna Claudia, Anna Claudia, okay, Dora, and Jarvin, okay. Jarvin, are you available? Jarvin, okay. Let's do it. Yep. Okay. Well, there you go, guys. Please accept the invitation and you may share the little thing that I sent on the WhatsApp, although it's just lines. Again, I need you to have a conversation. We only have 15 minutes for this um, exercise, so let's do it, okay? Okay, Juan, you may accept the invitation. Did you get it? Jose Osmin, if you may accept the invitation, Francisco. Luis, we're different. This is the, what we need to do. First, we think in the, in the sentence, and then we think in the conversation that we need to do. So, um, if we do a conversation, in, I don't know, maybe about the uh, weather or how oh, weather is, is good. Okay. Uh, what, what, what topic? What do you think? Whether what? Whether a uh, food. Food. <laughs> food. Yeah, I think food. If we talk about food, is a lot of different things. Food like Chinese food, Mexican food. Salvador, uh, Salvador. Well, yes, it could be. Uh, start with, with the weather. We, we can. Yes. I agree. Okay. I I wish what? I wish. Uh, we have a better weather these days. We have, ah, no, it's a good, yes, we pass. I wish we had better weather these days. Okay. Could you repeat, please? I wish uh, there are weather. Yes. Or maybe uh, not so. I wish maybe this one. I wish the weather was not so warm this day oh in our cities so warm this only in okay i wish the weather was not uh, wait a minute i need to open the door to do the door sorry okay okay well,
Okay, okay. Uh, well, we, how can we, what, where do you live, Luis Albert? I live in San Salvador. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. How, how was the year this day in San Salvador? <laughs> it's very hot. Hot. I, I think we... Most difficult thing for me is the language. Language barrier. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's the language is so difficult. It's so hard. Oh. So hard. Yes. I yeah, wish I mama. could understand German. <laughs> No, nothing, nothing. I don't understand. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. yes. And your daughter's wife, your daughter's husband is a German or is a Salvadorian man? It's a German. Ah, okay. Okay, it's a German. And when they, they, eh, Live El Salvador and to travel a Germany. My daughter no is no speak Germany. She, she didn't speak German at the time. Yes. Uh -huh. And when I when she stayed there, uh -huh. she have to learn. Ah, of course. And my my grand to take some X rays and magnetic resonance. Yeah. So I wish, uh, I wish I I weren't my knee is not hard anymore. Yeah. It was I don't know. It didn't hurt. So yeah. Much. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I wish that our medical system were better uh, because as of today, you have to go to like a special doctor and you have to pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So I wish we didn't live in a third, third world country. <laughs> Yeah. Um another thing that I wish for example if my knee stopped uh, stops to hurt uh, I wish I could go to the gym for <laughs> for exercise because I'm over overweight. Yeah. A little bit, but yeah, but uh, I think it's it's more for my own health, yeah, because uh, I go upstairs, for example, one or two floors upstairs or downstairs, and I am like a killing, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. I think it's about it, it's because of the sedentary life. I don't know if it's the right term, teacher. Sedentary life, yeah. Okay. So I wish, sedentarism. Okay, sedentarism. Yeah. I wish that my knees not I wish I weren't my knee to don't hurt anymore. So in order to uh, go to the gym, yeah, and and run and do whatever that uh, that so, so and, and and rest uh, and what in uh something work you wish you were younger maybe <laughs> <laughs> yeah um for example twenty years younger yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I wish also, I wish I could uh, swim better, yeah, because okay. uh, this this sport uh, that was uh, the doctor recommends, uh huh. The, 
the doctor recommends this sport. This sport. Repeat one. This sport. This sport. Uh, this sport. This sport. Exactly. Is, don't is, don't is don't the... make a pause. Don't make a pause. Uh -huh, uh -huh. This okay. sport. This sport. Mm -hmm. Okay. For example, my t-shirt is size is small. My teacher is small. My teacher is small. Okay, my teacher is small. You got it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Daniel Daniel raised his hand. Yes, sorry. It's uh it's a model five of intermediate. I don't know what happened. Oh, no, Daniel. This is advanced six. Uh, I don't know why I, I, I am in this uh, uh, break room. It's just a link. Vaya a su correo. Ahí tiene que tener el link de avanzado de intermedio cinco. Okay. I, I, I suppose that in here, but sorry. <laughs> Thank okay. You. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Maybe Daniel so, will speak the correct link. Yeah. I don't know how uh, that happened. Grace, what, what other thing that you wish? Okay, keep going. Well, I wish... Uh... And uh, why? I wish... Why don't they send you money? Okay. We nearly turn. The last sentence, why right? they don't they send you money? Uh, I oh. wish I wish I were their favorite nephew. Okay, the uppercase, yes. I wish it were the favorite nephew. nephew. Okay, we have uh, the, the six wishes sentence, but what is the next step? We need to do some correction or we need to say it in a different way or we are we are done. What do you think? Are we done? Yes. Do you think so? Where do you live, please? I live in San Salvador. I have with the weather in your neighborhood. I wish we had better for the day. What's the matter with the weather? I wish the weather was not so warm in the country. Do you have an air condition? I wish say have an air condition. Why don't you have? I wish I had no money to buy one. Okay, there is a problem with this guy for only <laughs> everything. <laughs> I'm cool. But I know I don't have money. <laughs> Teacher, we need we need to put this sentence in, in the other way or, or the, this is the, the, the good way that we are doing it. I I I don't know, let me see. What's the matter with the weather? I wish the weather was not so warm in our country. Do you have an air, con air conditioner? Hey, you can say, do you have an AC? Okay, I wish I had an air conditioner. You're rich. Okay, why don't you have one? I wish I had enough money to buy one. But how about the rich and the relatives in the United States? How about your, how about your rich relatives? That sounds good. How about okay. your reach? I wish my relatives will send me some money. Why don't you, why don't they send you money? Why don't they send you money? I wish I were their favorite nephew. I wish I, I wish I, I wish the weather. Okay, yeah, that's okay. That sounds good. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome, okay. We're almost done, so practice it one more time, okay? Okay, thank you to visit Europe, mm -hmm. but because of pandemic, we couldn't travel. So I wish to visit Europe. Wish I could. I wish I could visit Europe in the future. In the future. <laughs>
Okay. I think we are practicing with Dora. <laughs> yes. Perfect. It sounds very natural, actually. So that's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So okay. Uh, that's it. <laughs> we were completing mm -hmm. the conversation. <laughs> are you sure you're ready? Yes, we're going to talk like we've been talking right now. Perfect. That's the idea. Okay. So that's the whole point. Yes, okay. we're ready. Excellent. Okay. Allow me just a minute. We're almost done. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. Okay. Uh, I I am in the IT de department. Yeah, but uh, I do almost like uh, tech support in level one and level two. Yeah. So uh, that's why you know very much about Excel and you are able to give out classes on this academy. Sorry, that I, I yeah, to I, try I, to get closer to your laptop, Grace. Can you hear me better now? Better? Kinda. So I, I was just telling you that uh, maybe that's why, because you're, you're currently working on IT, uh, in the IT department, and that's why you are able to give up Excel classes. Ah, uh, okay. Just let me, if I understand you, that uh, for all the time that I work there, yeah, or, or uh, that I, I don't know if, if you are telling me this that uh that that is one of the reasons uh, that yeah, i i was wondering just wondering if that's one of the reasons ah, okay no uh, i began in with a uh, in support from oh, for about uh 2010 yeah i have since since about okay, since since sorry sorry since mm -hmm. 2010 10. Yeah, I have a uh, thirteen years working with uh, an accreditation. Yeah, and work with this other a uh, professional center. Yeah, it's not Inglés Corporativo. It's another, but um, I I like I I like this this kind of teaching. Yeah, I like to share my knowledge in. Uh, there, there is something that that says something like this: If you do something that you like, um, you are, have to work. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, it's uh -huh. true. Yeah. And so you, you I, could teach something else on another subject. I, um, I am thinking, yeah, because because one of my personal projects it's to open my youtube channel and teach um, i don't know uh, anything that i know in order to share my knowledge and eventually eventually uh, open my own academy yeah or something like this okay and keep I that know. keep that idea that's the next topic just keep the idea in mind okay, okay that is, that is okay. our next topic let's go back Okay, okay. Okay, let's just wait for the others.
Okay, who will like to start? Now, this doesn't work, David. Who wants to start? Who wants to be the first volunteer, kid? Me teacher with my, my team. <laughs> okay, yeah. it only works. Yeah, ready. It only works if you have a weirdo in the class. Okay, if you have this kind of people who wants to participate all the time, then in a class that works all the time if you ask for a volunteer. But the best thing is, William, what's the best thing? <laughs> William is laughing because he knows. <laughs> you need to point someone. Yeah, no, no, I'm not pointing someone. Just choose a victim. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's better. No, just go like, okay, David, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is pink. Um, <laughs> this is my, my wife's favorite oh. color. It needs to be mine, but uh, yes, pink. I, I have a favorite color for my, my pants. I like, uh, I don't know how to say this, uh, light brown, something like that. Light brown? Light brown is... Like khaki? Uh, yes. Okay. Like Grace's wall, for example. Grace's wall. I Grace's see background. I am not. I am Daltonic, but. I oh, see come on. <laughs> <laughs> that, that will make sense, you know, if you <laughs> you don't mind about your wall color, is because you're Daltonic. Yes, that makes yes. sense. Okay. <laughs> hey, and then you say, "Now it all makes sense." Repeat, guys. Now it all makes sense. Now it all makes sense. Now it all. Now it all makes sense. Now it all makes sense. Make sense. Now it all makes sense. Now it all makes sense. Now it all makes sense. Okay. Now. Okay. So let's go with Grace's uh, team couple. I should say, because you were only two practicing, I think. But anyways, okay, remember, it's a natural conversation using the grammar we have uh, discussed so far. One, two, three, action. With uh, our team? No, uh, with Grace's team. Okay, Grace's team, go ahead. Come again. What are we supposed to do? I'm sorry. <laughs> Just have a conversation, the same conversation you were having with Juan using wish. So, uh, Juan, so you told me that you wish your knees didn't hurt that much, right? <laughs> yeah, I wish. Uh, yeah. Can you tell me about going to the doctor and if you had a wish about that? Yeah, I, w I went to the doctor today because my knee is hurting so much. So I wish I don't have this pain anymore. Yeah. Uh, because if you flex your knees, uh, like to picking up something from, from the floor and you flex your knees. Uh, that's, that's the point that, uh, where, where my knee really hurts. And all the weight <laughs> from my body is on my left knee. Yeah, so I wish that, uh, I, I wish I don't have this pain anymore in my right knee, yeah. And I was telling him that I wish that we live in a third world country because the medical system is kind of um, not so good. <laughs> so that's just kind of our conversation. Okay. Uh, I think Grecia. Gra Gracias, sorry, sorry. I think Gracia was telling me that she wish, she wishes, yeah, she wishes, yeah, she wishes that uh, the healthcare system, yeah, Gracia? Yeah, the medical system. 
uh, yeah, the medical system uh, could be better yeah, than the actual one in order to attend people uh, quick uh, or quicker or faster, yeah, faster than, uh, than the actual moment. Yeah, because you go to the hospital and if you are not with the tripas de fuera, you are not <laughs> uh, like, uh, mm, you won't be a patient in the emergency room, yeah. Uh -huh. And other things related with this topic. Uh -huh. I know, I know that they have uh, a system to classify the the situations, yeah, but for me, it's, it's not uh, fair that Obviously, if you are in a in a hospital, you are not there because uh, just for just for for be there. Yeah, you go to the hospital because you you have something that is not right with your body or with your system in general. Yeah, so Gracia was talking about that mm -hmm. in order to to attend faster, yeah, to the patients. That's it? Yeah. yeah. That's wrong. I, I said that's it. I'm sorry. Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? It, it, is that it? Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. The same as I told you yesterday, those, don't say him, say him. So when you use eat, not as a subject, but as a pronoun, when it comes at the end, then you say it. Let's talk okay. about it. Repeat, repeat. Let's talk about it. Let's let's talk about it. Hey, come let's on. Let's talk, talk about, about it. it. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. That's perfect. Good. Okay. okay yeah. Look at look at your Zoom chat. My knee was hurting. My God, that, that this is difficult. Hurting, hurting, not hurting, 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 hurting. hurting. It's right too. That that T in the middle, you know. My knee was hurting too much. Hurting, hurting too much. I wish I don't. I wish I don't have this pain anymore. I wish I didn't have. Remember. Oh, the okay. Auxiliary. okay. Uh -huh. Even though it's a wish in the present, then you need the auxiliary in the past. I wish I didn't have. Okay, I wish I didn't have this pain anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any anymore. Any anymore. Not right. anymore. Not anymore. anymore. Uh -huh, but anymore. Okay. Yeah. I wish I didn't have this pain anymore. Um hmm. because if you flex your knees, huh? Uh huh. Because it's it's you flex your knees. Okay. If you bend your knees. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I I forgot that word. Yeah. If you it's bend, okay. Is, what, if what, you bend your knees. Yeah. What is the difference? Now keep in mind this. What is the difference between fold and bend? Somebody. Mm -hmm. Maybe fold is uh, the all of the material like uh, iron, something like that. Oh, the opposite, the other way around. It's the other way around, David. Okay. You, you fold? A little. No, you fold close. You uh -huh. fold uh -huh. the opposite okay. of what you're saying, David. You fold soft things. For soft example, thing. a folder. Yes, mm -hmm. because uh -huh. it's yeah. Okay, a folder, your wallet, you can fold your wallet, fold. you can fold your shirt, but you bend hard things like Bender. Do you remember Futurama? <laughs> yes. Yeah, the robot, the robot on Futurama, is the, his name is Bender because he used to be a robot to bend really hard iron. 
So yeah, think about it. To, uh, to avoid forgetting this, just think about these examples. The folder is soft and bender the robot, right? These hard things. Now your knees, you bend your knees, you bend your body, you bend your okay. articulations. Okay. Uh, okay, what else? Faster than the actual moment. Mm, faster than now. Okay, faster than now, okay. Yeah. And if you are not with your three pass, <laughs> I like that. So I thought, how can you say that, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, if, if you're not with your insides out, Okay, okay. If you're not with your insides out, they will never attend you, you know, take care of you. Mm -hmm. Right. So, yeah, you, you got to be in pain. That's the word. You got to okay. be in pain. There you go. Thank you, guys. Great job. One applause. Hey, right. okay. Who is next, Juan? Choose someone. Ooh. Uh... I don't know, maybe. Gavin? Repeat, repeat. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. The brother of Moises, Moses, remember? Moses' brother? Aaron. Uh -huh. I don't. I don't. I don't. Uh -huh. In Spanish. I don't. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay. So don't forget that. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I don't know, man. I don't know. Okay. I don't know, Rick. <laughs> It sounds okay. Fake. I don't know. Okay. Uh -huh. Maybe Jarvin. Jarvin. Okay. Jar Jarvin's group. Jarvin was with us, uh, with Dora and me, but he was driving. So oh, we... yeah, this is true. Yeah, but 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 we can we work it out with uh, Dora. It's okay. A... Ready. One, two, three. Action. <laughs> Hi, Dora. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Very good. <laughs> awesome. Mm -hmm. I remember you are living in El Salvador. Is that right? Yes. I now I live in Sal in El Salvador, but I wish to live in Germany. Really? Yes. And why is why you wish to live in Germany? Uh, because my daughter and my grandson live there. And, mm -hmm. and I wish I, I lived with, with them, with them. Oh, oh I, I just can imagine. Yes. I guess you visit your daughter in German, right? Yes. I visited my daughter three times. Wow, that's great. Yes. Congratulations. A, mm -hmm. Thanks. It's a beautiful country. It's just, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> I just can <didn't> imagine. <laughs> you know, I wish uh, rather than live in a country, I wish to have three period vacation every year. <laughs> and mm. I wish to visit uh, the sea, the beaches in different Car Caribbean islands. For example, I wish to visit uh, Jamaica. Uh, I wish to visit, I don't know, San Martin. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico have, has a beautiful beach. It sounds like mm -hmm. you've been yes. in Puerto Rico before, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. Right. Okay. If I I wish to have the money, I wish to have money to make my plan real. So having a three year, three periods. No, three periods mm -hmm. during the year for vacation time. That will be great. Do you wish to? No, no, let me refrain. Do you speak German? Do you understand German? No, uh, I don't speak German, but I wish I wish it's pop German. 
but it's a difficult language. For me, it's difficult English. Imagine it's German. <laughs> German. Uh, no, oh my God. <laughs> but it's not difficult. You can learn it too. With patience, yeah. I think uh, you can learn whatever you decide. I, I would like to visit Europe. You know, in the past, I was uh, I wished to visit Europe, and because of pandemic, it wasn't possible. But I think in the near future, uh, I I wish to get a ticket and. I wish to visit uh, Europe in the okay. near future. Mm -hmm. Maybe never, you can never, go with me. <laughs> never, never stop dreams. Um, yeah. Yes. When, uh, when I was a child, uh -huh. in my case, when I was a child, uh, I said, oh, I Sunday, uh, uh, I visit to Paris, Paris. I wish to visit Paris mm -hmm. when I uh, grew up in Isa Ding. Uh, when before pandemic, mm -hmm. I visited I visited Paris. Oh, Isadine, wow. yes, yes. Okay. I visited Paris. I visited. I visit. Uh, I, shall, um, I shall stop you guys. Thank you very much. That was awesome. No <laughs> <laughs> you spend the whole she class had, talking. She, wow. had visited, she had visited a lot of countries, you see. <laughs> My goodness. Great. Okay, great job. Thank you, Dora. Thank you, Anna. Thank okay, you. let's go to your chat. Okay. Huh. I wish you are living in El Salvador. I mean, I'm sorry, I remember. I have some options here. What am I trying to say? I remember you live in London. I mean, you live in El Salvador. I remember you live in El Salvador, right? I remember you lived, you lived in El Salvador, simple past. I remember you were living in El Salvador, past continuous. I remember you were in El Salvador. Where are you now? Mm, okay. And so on, right? Just think twice on that. Okay, why do you wish you lived in Germany? And, and by the way, it's not German. German is the language. Uh, Germany, Germany, the country. It's the right? country. Uh, uh -huh, yeah. uh -huh. You missed focus sometimes, and it's okay. Don't worry. Let's just correct that. Why mm -hmm. do you? Why do you? Why do you? Why do you wish you lived in Germany? Why do you live? Uh, why do you? Hold on. Why okay. do you wish to live? Why do you, you why do you wish you lived in Germany? Why do you wish you lived in Germany? Uh, why do you wish you lived? I'm trying to emphasize mm -hmm. many many things right now. Why do? Mm -hmm. Why do you? Why do why, you? Why do you? Why do you wish you live in Germany? You got, you got it. Yeah. Why do you wish you lived in Germany? Why do you Okay. So practice that. Remember that this video is being recorded. Mm -hmm. So you can go back to the video, watch this part, and rewind. Mm -hmm. Rewind and practice. Rewind mm -hmm. and repeat, repeat. Okay. I visited my daughter two times. I visited my daughter twice already. Twice. Um... You know, I visited my daughter twice already. Okay. I wish to... We are uh, adding the preposition to mm -hmm. before the verb is like a buffer. You know what is a buffer? Mm -mm. Muletia. Like a sound? It's, a, uh, it's a muletia. Yeah, it's it's more in sounds, mm -hmm. but it happens as well. Adding something that is not mm -hmm. going there all mm -hmm. the time. And when you are learning English, it's normal with articles. Mm -hmm. The the, the, or um, is, 
is, and this happens a lot with adults. With adults, this is a common <laughs> a common thing. Mm -hmm. Adding adding is is me is is going. You know, is fine and and is is weather is is cool. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's that's that's a buffer. So mm -hmm. in this case, I wish to have. I wish to visit. I wish to have. I wish spoke. And I forget the subject. So I wish I had oh, okay. three period, three vacation periods. Vacation yeah, periods. I was confused right there. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. what, what goes first? What is qualifying and what is the noun? What kind of period do you want? A vacational period? Okay. I wish I had mm -hmm. three vacational periods or three vacation periods every year mm -hmm. per year mm -hmm. again review this video later mm -hmm. i wish to visit jamaica mm -hmm. jamaica jamaica jamaica, jamaica. yeah mm -hmm. saint Ma saint martin saint martin, martin. <laughs> uh -uh. no martin. remember martin. Martin. Rem if you haven't been told everybody if you haven't been told this so far there is no r in english mm -hmm. So a gringo will never say Martin or Herrera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, just write the name Herrera to a gringo and say, hey, can you read this? Mm -hmm. They go like Herrera. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> they cannot they cannot pronounce the R. Okay. So it's the same thing. Saint Martin. Saint Martin. Saint Martin. Saint Martin. Saint Martin. Virgin oh, Islands. Saint Martin. Saint Martin. Yeah. Saint Martin. Okay. I wish. I had money mm. to make my plan real. Mm -hmm. That sounds good to make my plan real. I wish I spoke German. You were no. very close, Laura. I wish okay. I spoke German. Thank you. Oh, pronunciation, Laura. Imagine. Imagine. Oh, that sound that mm -hmm. at the end. Uh -uh. Imagine. Imagine. Mm -hmm. Imagine. Now, can you picture it? Man, just picture it. Just instead of imagine, you can say more words. Just picture it. Figure it. Mm -hmm. Just figure it. Oh my God, it sounds amazing, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Picture it. Think about it. Think about it. That's more common. Oh my God, think about it. It sounds amazing, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pronunciation again with patience. 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 Uh -huh. Patience. Pa patience. Uh -huh. It's an E. Patience. 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 There you go. Patience. Mm -hmm. Patience. Okay, be patient. Be patient. Be patient. 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 It's an E. Patient. Patient. Shin. 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 Patient. Perfect. Patient. Mm -hmm. You need patience, okay, to learn that. Patience. Again, revisan el video later, okay. Mm -hmm. Because of pandemic, Americans started saying because of the pandemic. Oh my God, this is a whole class. The article, the, mm -hmm. T-H-E. Mm -hmm. you, you need the or the when something is very important, then you use the article the, okay? okay? So Americans are saying, mm -hmm. they are saying when I talk to them, oh, you know what? We were in the pandemic. Mm -hmm. We were in the pandemic. And so we were and frustrated. We were during the quarantine. The quarantine, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. quarantine, the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Porque okay. se supone que todo el mundo se acuerda de eso, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So during the pandemic, during mm -hmm. the big war, um, David, if I ask David or somebody, you know, um, older than me, and I'm sorry, with all the respect, but if I ask David, do you remember the great war? The great war, they go like, yeah. If I ask, I don't know, Grace, do you remember the Great War? Oh, World War II? 
or one, right? They know, they don't know. But if I ask David, if I, I know because I studied history a little bit. So I know the great war was the first one, right? the big one and so on. So it's important. You are supposed to remember it, the, okay. Moving on in the, in the near future, in near future, no, in the near future. In the near future. Okay. Better. Near future. When was a child, when I was a child, mm -hmm. never stop dreams. Never stop dreaming. 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 Mm -hmm. Don't stop. Right? Mm -hmm. Believe in. That's something else. I'm sorry. I wish to visit Paris. I wish I could visit okay. Paris. I wish I could visit Paris. Okay. I wish I could visit Paris. I oh wish my I... God, we were so, like, kind of nervous. <laughs> no. <laughs> we were discussing no, but you, also the right. verbs were to use the past. We were discussing that. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> yeah, and I heard you and you were doing it, right? Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank okay, you, thank girls. You, Let's go with the next group. I think David's group, right? Who was it? Okay, teacher, I was talking without uh, turning on the mute. Okay, we are ready with William and Luis. Uh, can I share my screen, please? But not this one and this one. <laughs> okay. Uh, William, are you ready? Okay, okay. Uh, where do you live, Luis? Lois. Lois. Her name, artistic name is Lois. He is not her. I, I, I will say, I, I, I continue with the conversation. Start again, please. Okay, uh, where do you live? Uh, David? Uh, I live in San Salvador, supposed to. Okay, and how is the weather in your neighborhood? I wish we had better weather these days. It was the matter with the weather. I wish the weather was not so warm in our country. Uh, we change roles. I do the question that you are now Louis. Okay. Do you have an air conditioner? I wish I had an air conditioner. Why don't you have one? I wish I had enough money to buy one. But how about your rich relative in the USA? I wish my relative would send me some money. Why don't they send you money? I wish I were the favorite nephew. Okay, thank you. That's all, teacher. That's it. I wish I were their favorite nephew. Okay, good. Good job. Oh, I don't have too much feedback for you guys. That was good, actually. What do you? What I will do is just recommend you some things. Um, and William knows about this, but for the ones that don't know me, um, Okay, the ones that don't know me, if you see capital letters on the feedback, yes. that means yes. that means pronunciation. Pronunciation. If everything is in lowercase, it may be grammar. Okay, yes. that's the way I differentiate. Because if you notice, I'm just typing when you're talking. Okay, yes. identifying areas of improvement. You don't have errors, you don't have mistakes, you have areas of improvement and we can correct them, okay? So my advice, yes, it's okay. Where do you live? But what sounds better or more natural? Where do you live? Where do you live? Or <laughs> or where do you, where do you live? Where do you live? Where do you live? Where do you live? Yeah, even that when I'm good, where do you live? Yeah. It sounds more natural, where do you live? Where do you live? They, they eat the, the auxiliaries, the Americans. Where do you live? Where do you live? Okay. Warm. 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 Mm -hmm. It's an O. Warm. 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 Notice, warm. notice that whenever there's a W, your mouth will do a U shape. Warm. 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 Right. And if warm. there is an R, after the W, then most likely you will do a U shape as well. Right, right, water, water, wait, wait. Get it? Okay. 
one more thing. Never ever say to an American, are you from USA? Yes. Are you from USA? Because uh, they are, are you from America? Nah. Or, or the USA. Are you American? Yes. Good, William. Yeah. William, repeat. The USA? The USA. The the USA. Yes. There's a very and there there's a patriotic, I would like to say patriotic, patriotic sense on that. Okay. Let me show you. Gracias. Gracias. Are you from Salvador? Yes, I am. What? But I'm from El Salvador. I'm from El Salvador. Is not Salvador. Are you from Salvador? No, the actual name is El Salvador. El Salvador. Okay. Are you from the El Salvador? Yes, I am from El Salvador. <laughs> well, uh, no, I'm from El Salvador. It's not, uh, you don't have to use the article. Oh, really? Why? Because uh, the word L is phonetical already. So... Oh, you mean the is L in Spanish? Okay. Oh my God, that's but, awesome! Great joke. But, but got the it. name, the name is El Salvador. That's the name. The name is El Salvador. You need to use the El Salvador because all the name. And... In fact, yes. In, yeah. fact, in the past, in the past, the uh -huh. the coins. Said them, them Salvador, and uh, there was a uh, uh, legal document that uh, is specific. That is not the name. Yeah, and it's not del Salvador, the, right? Yes, de el. In the, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, the, it makes sense. We need totally. to say in Spanish. The El Salvador. Okay. The, I think, the, I don't know. But uh, it's, just, it's just a matter of gentilisians, David. The gentilisian for El Salvador people Salvadorian. is Salvadorians, right? Salvadorian, yes. And so I have seen in tw on Twitter, you know, a lot of Americans and, and people from the UK saying the El Salvadorian people. Like, uh, okay. Oh my God! It's so on, right, guys? But the the, the example yeah. is this: an American identifies, and this is because the only country after the United Kingdom is the United States with the article on its constitution in yes. in English. In English, okay. So be careful; they don't like you to say uh, from USA, from the United States. Okay, now. For that reason, maybe in, in some years, uh, I don't know, two or three years, uh, there are, uh, I know, a uh, uh, sport event in, in Brazil, and uh, some people go to Salvador from Brazil. Oh, yes, in, in, in Brazil, in, in, there, there is a San Salvador. They're going to Salvador. And, and, yes. And they send the people to to hear in Salvador. Exactly. And for that reason, it is, it, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you're totally right. There is a San Salvador city in, in Brazil. In yeah. Brazil, Brazil, okay. Brazil. And so yes. on. So where do you, where do you and why don't, why don't, why don't, why don't you tell me? Hey, come on, what are you gonna tell me? Why don't I, why don't you go why don't try to practice that the D O D D O N T. Okay, why don't why don't why don't? Okay, good job. Who is are we, are we done? Are we missing anybody? Are we missing anybody? No, right? We're done. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Thank you. Don't let me talk to myself, okay? Oh, look at Luis. Luis is like, ha, 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 I didn't speak. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys, for our next act, tonight's topic is actually about becoming an entrepreneur. And as I was opening the class, I was trying to explain you a little bit about being an entrepreneur. Well, first of all, can you define entrepreneur? Just the word entrepreneur? is someone who 
to do a kind of business. Do a kind of business, okay. Someone who does a kind of business, who do a kind, does a kind of business, okay. Who runs a kind of business, what else? Does this person have experience? Maybe. No. Maybe, the first time, yeah. maybe not, no. the, the, but the next time, he learned or she learned. Learning. This? The Learning on the, on the way? Yeah. I hmm. think. I think so, yeah? yeah. What, who else? Come on, elaborate your ideas, guys. Maybe someone who takes a risk, a financial risk. To business. I like that. Someone who takes an, a financial risk investing on something you don't know. So if that's the concept, buying cryptocurrency or bitcoins, is that being an interpreter? <laughs> come, uh, come on, I made you think, right? This is difficult, yes. <laughs> I don't mean it. Because it's so risky, I don't know. <laughs> right. Coming from the concept that you're throwing me right now, becoming buying cryptocurrency, is that being an entrepreneur? No, it's not. Uh, I, I see, the entrepreneur is the people that hide the idea, and the people to put the money is investor. I think, I don't know. Mm -hmm. The entrepreneur is uh, who rooms the idea and start the business Runs. and uh -huh. get some Runs. money from somebody that believes in, in his idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, that sounds like a good thought. Okay, anybody else? Ana Claudia, you're so quiet tonight. No, 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 come on. <laughs> I'm not going to continue correcting you so often. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I like the corrections. But you're asking what an entrepreneur person is, right? Yeah, what's what's an entrepreneur? Someone that has the courage to start a business from zero for me. That makes a lot of sense. Sometimes I don't have experience, but mm, uh, I admire people who who run you, their you own business. You admire? I admire uh -huh, people that, uh, I don't know if it's correct to say, they are, they launch as an entrepreneur or they start. It would be okay to say launch or, or start. They start, they launch their own business. Their own business. The first time. They take the risk, as Gra they, they, Grace they, was saying. Okay, so we got the concept. It's someone who takes the risk of mm -hmm. starting up a new business, okay. So if that's the case, if we already know what is an interpreter, what is a social interpreter and what is a commercial interpreter, a business interpreter, think about it. Social interpreter, business interpreter. Social entrepreneurs, entrepreneur, and <laughs> social <laughs> entrepreneur sounds like someone that run their business online runs let me runs. clarify let me clarify this social coming from society not um, from social network okay society society but uh social like a, a benefactor or something like that because um social everything is in the uh, everything is uh, have a social role. Everything mm. you do. Mm -hmm. I think uh, I don't know. Yeah, there's a difference between social and commercial. You know, a business. Maybe, I think it maybe it has to do with the, with the final. Uh, uh, no, the, the one who receives the benefits of the entrepreneurship. Because if, if it's social, maybe society will have the benefits, and if it's commercial, then the other of the 
You're saying a lot of interesting things, but you're breaking up. Mm -hmm. And I kind of got it. I kind of got it. And yes, you have the idea. That's true. A social interpreter, I'll yeah. go straight to it. As Grace was saying, yes, uh, a social interpreter is I basically... Found that yeah. is, sorry, I found that is someone that uh, with uh, individual startup and entrepreneur, uh, they found solutions that directly address social issues. So they have a like a positive impact. Hmm. That is okay. what I found. Totally. You got it. Mm. You nailed it. <laughs> that word. You nailed it. <laughs> My bosses use it. I love that. Word. Really? You nailed it. Mm -hmm. You took it out of the stadium. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that, that's it. Basically, when you um when you want to create some you want to do some impact on society. And these four Senials is very important. For us, millennials, it's kind of important, you know, but we're still willing to let things go a little bit. Yeah, you want to have some impact on society from the product that you sell. So from this perspective, the idea is that whatever you want to sell is either going oriented to make money, which is commercial, or to help society, which is the social entrepreneur, okay? You are conscious that society needs a change and your product will definitely change society in some aspect. But if you are just a commerce entrepreneur, then your product will resolve some issue momentaneously, not completely, just for the moment. Can you give me an example of a product on the market that will solve a social problem? Education? Hmm. Seen as a product? Yes, education yeah. is a product. The private schools sell education. Private schools sell private, education. Private, yes. Private, private, private. Yes, mm. I agree with that. Do we all agree? Yes. yes. Makes sense. <laughs> oh my God. It's like your word. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Come on. So, yeah, another social product. Uh, maybe water um, resources because uh, water is like uh, nowadays, it's like a uh, social. Social, I'm not getting the second word, honey. I'm, I'm sorry. Right. right, social rights. Can yeah, you... It was declared uh, social rights by the owner. Just, just the, mere, the mere idea of selling your, the social rights through the social networks? No, 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 I mean water. Water. Water uh, cleaning ability, uh, saneamiento. I, I don't know how to say saneamiento. Oh, cleaning services. Yeah, water access is a social right. So, oh, 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 I got you. I got you. Okay. Lakes and stuff like that. That's yeah. another, that definitely could be another one. Now, keep in mind this these social entrepreneurships take advantage of society needs and the example grace uh, gracias gracias example gracias example that sounds weird grace's example <laughs> is is a clear one you know because in in africa they invented a filter in the form of a straw did you see that it's mm -hmm. a straw it's a straw with filters and people in africa go to the river and they start sucking the, the straw and it filters the water that's a social need and you're taking advantage of a very critical social need to make money yeah. now there's a difference and here is the tricky side some inventions 
if they are sold under the masquerade, let's say, of a ben, of an ONG, how do you call this? A non profitable non profitable organization, an NGO, NGO. 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 If they are sold through an NGO, then it looks awesome, right? Oh my God, look at what the United Nations is doing. They are giving this filter to Africa so they can have clear water. But if they are sold as from a private company and come and get your filter here in Africa, that's awful. I mean, oh my God, right? But who had the idea? So I'm leaving you with that in mind. Um, I would like you to abort, to take this two aspects, think about them, but in a more entertaining way. I'm going to share a link with you again. Let's watch a short video. It's only seven minutes, maybe shorter. But here is your challenge. We only have 15 minutes. So here's your challenge. Number one, turn on, let me see if this one has, no, there are no subtitles. Oh, oh my God, let me see. Um, one second. Mm. Hold on. You know what? I'm going to challenge you on this one because it's going to be a little bit difficult to get the idea, but get the idea of non-profit and profit, right? You, you got the idea, right? Non-profitable, profitable. What is it? Um, Fernando, what is non-profitable? In your own words. Sorry, teacher. What is a non-profitable? Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry. Profitable or non-profitable? Non-profitable and profitable. I mean, what's the difference? Uh, profitable is something that that you can get money for example and okay profit always is the other way around <laughs> okay <laughs> i don't know maybe yes it is that's what it is okay do you know what yeah let's go with this video it sounds really complicated but it's not so your challenge is to find three words that you didn't know new vocabulary and that's that should be your goal on every video you watch everything that you do at this point just find words for your own new vocabulary and explain them to the class okay really quick okay so if i try to explain to you the word humble right for example so you have the video on your whatsapp what i would like you to do is just watch the video. We're going to stay here. Watch the video. Turn off your microphone. Get the three words and understand the idea of the differences between social entrepreneurship and uh, business entrepreneurship. Okay. Let's go. Did you send a video to the WhatsApp group? We don't have it, teacher. We don't yeah, have it? I didn't do it. Hold on. I didn't do it on the right chat. My bad. <laughs> there you are. Okay. You. Let's go.
Well, two minutes. If we didn't finish, we will continue on your free time. <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, I hope you're enjoying the video but it's getting late sorry see that happens when I get excited you know with the topics we were talking a lot and that's really good actually but okay who wants to start did you find any new word I love, teacher. I love the picture I send you on WhatsApp, by the way. It's, like it's a good picture, teacher. Defining very well our topic. Uh-huh. OK, the first word I saw is, I don't know, it's a full word or it's a acronym. It's ROI. ROI. Return of Investment. Return. Uh, yes, return of investment, and uh, it's something that uh, you have expectation to receive something from your business. And the other one is the same, but with an S as at the beginning, and it is for for social. It's social returning of investment. Oh, S R. So it's S R O I. S -R -O -I. Social return of investment. I didn't get that before. Okay. And the other one was a uh, holistic. That is uh, a word for for uh, a whole concept, a whole uh, perspective. When you try to see or to talk about uh, all of the the concept of all of the. The information is mm -hmm. holistic, it's uh, complete. It, it, that's why it comes from the word whole. Ah, uh, okay. A whole. A whole, but in, the, in this case it's without W, but uh, uh -huh. I think I, I, I got the idea. Yes. Yeah. Yes. This is the word that like me. I, yeah, me too. Yes. You're more creative, more musical, more artistic. But when, when it comes to solving a problem, you like to see the whole picture. Okay. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Makes yes. sense. I like that word. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else? For me, the new word that I found, just saw one, um, because I haven't complete to see the, to watch the video. Um, I found homelessness. 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 Yeah, because I knew homeless but not homelessness. And okay. It's almost the same, but it says it's like, um, uh, it's not having a home, but what brought my attention is that I knew, I thought that was the only word, uh, homeless, but it, this is homelessness. There's a, 
what is it, David? Suffix or prefix? I always get confused with that. Pre prefix is a suffix, right? So, fix. Mm -hmm. Right, David? See, something like that because it is the social. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, the word well, homelessness. No, no, no. Homelessness. It's, oh, on, the, okay, it's on the chat. Okay. Homelessness. Uh, I think it's uh, the, the, something like the condition. Yeah. No, yeah, what I'm saying, what I'm, what I'm talking about is that Anna, Claudia, and I, we, we knew about homeless. Being homeless is to the lack of a home. <laughs> the lack, yes, of, yes, home, the lack homeless. of a home. Now, if you add the suffix N-E-S-S -S, at the end, mm -hmm. is a, a synonym. I think it's a synonym. It's, yeah, I think it's a synonym, but this is the, the condition, the condition of many people that live in the homelessness. Like poverty. Yes, like poverty, yes. You're poor and there's poverty in your city. Yes. I got you, I got you. Yeah. True. Okay. <laughs> that sounds good. Okay. Hmm. That is the only one that I found because I haven't complete watching the video. I know. I'm not done with the video, Ana Claudia. Mm. Repeat with me, Ana Claudia. I'm not done with it. I'm not done with the video. I'm not done with the video yet. I'm not, I'm done, not done with the video yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you that's guys. That's the reason why I found just one word. Yeah, okay. Anybody else? Grace? Hello. I also found holistic. Um, I, I had heard before, but I didn't have, I hadn't the, the time or the the will to find the meaning, as well as stakeholders, uh, which who says is a person who was interested or concerned in something, especially in this. Mm -hmm. Also transactional, which means relating to exchange or interaction between people. Okay, which is the traditional way, right? Now, I want you to fall asleep tonight thinking about it, how the world, the world has changed because, really quick, the 90s, back in the days, in the 90s, even in the 2000s, you know, 2000 to 2010, we were not thinking about helping society. Um, these new generations, my generation, started thinking about helping others. But prior to that, it was it was just a, a matter of making money. You see? And nowadays, we, we think about society, how to help other people, and so on. And if you look at the, the, the title of the little chart that I pasted on, on the chat, traditional interpreter, make money. Even your your grandpa, your grandma used to tell you, right? If you're going to invest on something, start a pupuseria, mijo. And make sure you make the double, right? If you sell food, you make the double. If not, it's not profitable. <laughs> That's why it was my grandma. And I never listened to her, but yeah. Okay. That's why in Soyapango, there are so many pupuserias, right? <laughs> okay. so what what you're saying is very evident uh, even in the uh, u.s uh, constitution there wasn't like a, a part of the law that would involve uh, social entrepreneurship mm -hmm. i got that far on the video and i don't know what follows them so study that because tomorrow we will have a debate during the first hour of the class, some of you will go for traditional entrepreneurship or, or what was it, business entrepreneurship, and the others will go for social inter entrepreneurship, entrepreneurs. So what's better, okay? Find the pros and cons, the pros and cons of this topic. I hope you enjoy it. Tonight, I'm staying with, time's up, I'm sorry, guys. Um, same with David tonight. David Samuel Galdames Monterroso, okay? And I'll see you tomorrow on our third class, okay? Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. Good night. Good fight. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present okay. teacher. <laughs> Celebrity dead match. <laughs> you got you it. Remember. Who got it? Luis? Hey, good. <laughs>
That was a good reference. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Dora Elizabeth Flores. She fell asleep. Okay, Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present. Hey, good night. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Teacher, I'm here. Thank you, Dora. <laughs> Thank you, Francisco. Good night. Good night. Gracias, Elizabeth Díaz Vázquez. Good night. Good night. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. She was not here tonight. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Hey, good night. Thank you. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present teacher. Thank Excellent. You. Good night. Good, good night. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Okay. Juan Miguel Brand Mejia. I'm here, teacher. Good night. Good night. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Night night. Night night. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte and William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Say here. Present. Present. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Good night, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Night. See ya. Thank you. Good night. Good night, everybody. Okay, David, teacher David, I, I like to throw in two questions when I'm when I'm on these sessions for the first time, um, but I typically do them in, in Spanish, you know, because I like to get to know my students, but that's on the basic intermediate levels when I know that I'll, I'll be with them for two, three months, you know, I like to get to know them, get familiarized with their issues. So, and the first question is is very simple. Um, what has been your experience with English? You know how how did you learn it at this point? How did you learn it? Uh, what has been your major challenge based on your previous experience? You know, jumping from academy to academy. But um, let's say. What has been your major challenge on this learning process? Okay, I, I start learning in the, in the early 70s when the, the government implemented that uh, English was a subject in the schools. Mm. And uh, they started a, a a project that uh, television, educational television, and there was some guy named Mr. Mayorga that uh, he only speak a little words in, uh, in English and uh, in all of the country listening. But uh, as you said before, uh, even, uh, all of the time was the same thing, uh, birth to be, past, present, uh, seventh grade, uh, eighth grade, ninth grade, uh, 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 10, 11, 12, because in the past was 12th grade. The high school was three years. And uh, then the time passes and uh, I start working in the school. And I think uh, I like to hear, uh, read, I, I I remember I, many, many years ago, I go to the university and uh, I buy a book in, uh, in English. I didn't know much about it, but I started reading, reading, <laughs> reading, reading. And I started to get something of the book. Uh, I got some comprehension about what uh, I, I was reading. Mm -hmm. But when I started teaching, uh, in the, they uh, assigned me uh, English books. I, I, I think I need uh, to, to know. And uh, the biggest challenge for me, first is the time. I don't have many times. And the second is, uh, at this time, I, I was so tired. You, you, so tired you I, are? I, yes. 
Ay, ay. Ay, ang sleepy. <laughs> Because it's I'm, it's our age it's our age and it's normal i mean it's yes, I, I usually go to bed at a a a ferry i have dinner at five o'clock what yes I, I with with your wife yes with my wife i i get dinner at five and I, at if, a, if a, i can if i can ask you where 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 are you? Are you in Santa Ana or Santa Tecla? In Santa Tecla, and, and yes. where? Uh, what kind of school do you teach? Is it a public school or private? Private. Private school. Yes. Okay, but you have the escalafon. No. No. I don't have. I only have the knowledge of math that nobody has. <laughs> Wait. So you are teaching math in English? Yes. Wow. That's that's wow! That's incredible. <laughs> Did they get yes. it? There are many many teachers that I went to the school and try to teach, but uh, uh, they can. I, I don't know why. It's, it's so difficult. And before me, every year they get uh, three or four teachers, and it was a problem. It was a problem, and I. I have been working in the since uh, uh, 2008. Since 2008. Yes. Wow. That's and, like uh, 20, 25 years. No, wait. Many years. So, so no, 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 no. Wait. 15, 15 years. 15, 15 years. Yes. Something wow. like that. That's impressive. Wow. That, that's very impressive. Well, and so. So you learned uh, what by yourself? Yes. We, yeah. Much of the time. Yes. Most, most of the time. Have you ever been out of El Salvador? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Where? Yeah, I was three times to USA to attend seminars, and uh, once in uh, in Europe. Wow. Uh, to attend a seminar in in a, a place named Amsterdam, right? That is uh, like uh, our Fed International here, but uh, three, ten times or maybe more. You Bigger. need a map. You need a map because you lost in that place. It's so you get, big. You get lost. And the, wow. And, and the people, the people, you are saying, I, I want an auditorium for uh, 15, for uh, civil. 50,000 people for 50,000 people. And we have uh, 200, uh, 200 uh, classroom for uh, 200 people or for 500. And they do it. They do it. They, they, this is, uh, I don't know how to say, but this is something that they can change is the major convention center in the world. It's in, in, in Amsterdam. Wow. And it was all work related. It was all work related, you know, like learning new new things. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. It's interesting because I, I was in a in a train, and uh, the, the some some the, the guy maybe that it conducted the train started to speak in in in, in uh, British. In, not no he started speaking like in in yeah i don't know the, the name of the language of 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 the, the, these netherlands but it's uh, similar to to german mm. it's very very similar like like portuguese and spanish belgium and 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 they started speaking and i i, I didn't understand but they they have uh, uh some people in the station that uh, Take it's, control of the that's German, it's, it's Dutch. Dutch, yes, <laughs> Dutch. Dutch, love the name of first of all in a movie, Dutch. <laughs> and uh, and the uh, I, I I got out and got out of, of the of the train and asked the, the, the guy what they say. And he said me this part of the train, the jewel is going to the hack. The hack is a, a La Haya. This part is going to the hack. I, I am not going to the to the hack, 
the other part is going to Cherbourg, that was the city I was going on. And uh, uh, I need to room because the other train will start moving. And uh, I, I need to room. It's, it's, it's expensive, the, the ticket uh, for train, for bus, for tramvia, for, for everything is, is expensive. How often, you do you, how often do you practice English nowadays, David? Like uh, having a conversation, natural conversation with someone. I, I try to talk in English every day. I try. Every day? Yes, yes. You know the difficult part of, of, of learning something new is, and with all the respect, what I have discovered in my research is that uh, the older you become, you create yes. paradigms. You create paradigms, okay? This, you know what is a paradigm, right? Yes. Something that you believe nobody will move you from there. So, but this is on your subconsciousness. For example, if if I try to correct right now, you're saying you have said the word run three times. Okay, run is yes. run, 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 run. Now. Even if you try to convince yourself, I mean, your brain already accepted that as a reality. So you have to find a way to repeat and repeat and repeat to yourself the right pronunciation, run, run. Number two, the simple past. Okay, uh, I go there, you said like two times, you said I go there, I went there is <laughs> simple things you know it's very simple things but if i try to correct you it's not gonna work so you have to convince yourself that there are some areas of improvement how can yes, you yes. how can you identify them watch this video again okay tomorrow tomorrow after the class watch this this little part of the conference the last 10 minutes and listen to yourself, okay? Number two, yes. number two, something that I would recommend you is to record yourself. Record. Super rápido, no, ya se nos acabó el tiempo, pero de verdad, de verdad, que créame que yo le quiero ayudar muchísimo. Bill Gates se, cre se inventó un, una metodología para estudiar profesores, para mejorar profesores. Hace algunos años, la, la vi eso, hace como cinco años, se inventó poner cuatro, ocho cámaras en los salones de Estados Unidos, por supuesto, ¿no? Y les dijo a los profesores de todas las materias, o sea, les voy a poner cámaras y ustedes van a poder verse todos los días. Cómo se ven, cómo hablan, qué hacen durante su clase. Y los profesores tenían que ir, claro, les dio un incentivo, ¿no? Supongo pero el resultado fue algo increíble porque los profesores empezaron a verse, ¿no? Y, uy, cómo me paro todo encorvado. Uy, ¿por qué dije eso? Perdí la, el hilo de la conversación por otro lado. ¿Por qué hice? Entonces empezaron a cambiar ellos mismos porque la mejor corrección es la autocorrección, ¿sí o no? Sí, yes, sí. Yes. Tendem, tendemos a creernos más lo que nos decimos a nosotros mismos que lo que otra persona nos dice. So, Esa sería una buena manera de empezar, escucharme a mí mismo. Así fue como yo aprendí. Descubrí con el tiempo que desde pequeño me escuchaba a mí mismo y me hablaba a mí mismo. Y empecé a corregir. No sé cómo, pero quizá el diccionario que tenía me ayudaba mucho, ¿no? So, that's the way. And at this point, it's up to you. It's up to you. You have to convince yourself. If you hear something from yourself, wait, that's... That's not right. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. This is the right way. You got it? Yes. Good. Nice having you. If you need my help with anything or if you want to develop any idea for a class, just let me know. Okay? Okay, teacher. I'll be more than glad to help you. Good night, buddy. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>